Are you looking to get into real estate, maybe become an agent? Well, if you've been following me for a while, you know I do a lot of things. And I recently got my real estate license in the state of Arizona. And if you're wondering, was studying hard? Was it a difficult process? Why did you do it? I'm gonna cover those things and much more. Stay tuned. Hey, this is Jason Roselle and welcome to Get Inspired, the official podcast and YouTube show that will empower your mind, body, business, social media branding, relationships, and anything that's holding you back from becoming the best version of you. Listen, before I became a TV personality, an author, a celebrity trainer, a life and wellness coach, and the founder of Caliente Fitness, I was broke, obese for 20 plus years, full of stretch marks, full of excuses, and most importantly, here's the deal, I was unhappy. I was able to change my life completely and since then, I've helped thousands do the same. This show is gonna bring you awesome guests, tons of helpful programs that'll aid you, but most importantly, your questions and topics that will make this show your show. My question is this, are you ready to get inspired? Well, get ready, because the show starts now. So if you're new to real estate, looking to get into it, I'm gonna tell you firsthand, I was super challenged. When I say that, I studied my butt off for almost five months. I did online courses, daily live professor chats. Mind you, there's a lot of people in these classes and I was studying more. I feel more than when I was in college. Mind you, I have a four year degree in public relations, an international marketing management degree in advertising. So I've done quite a bit, but I can tell you this firsthand was very tough. Many years ago in California, I took the real estate exam and over there in California, it hasn't changed. You need a 70%, a bare minimum of 70% to pass. And there's only about 140, 150 questions. Arizona now, ha, that's a whole different ball game. There's a total of I think it was about 200 questions and you got to pass with at least 75%, right? So needless to say, the studying for me was very tedious. I was studying six, seven days a week in the morning for 90 minutes, in the evening for about two hours while taking live classes. The math, if you're wondering about the math, the math is very different from most math you've ever done. They got prorations, a lot of prorations, they have a lot of different systems when it comes to solving the problems. I mean, I have even people in my class that was in my class that were college math professors that were having a hard time. So when I'm telling you this, I'm not trying to derail you from getting a real estate license, I'm just keeping it real. Was it tough as heck? Heck yeah. Now, here's the interesting part. Taking the school test, to me, was way harder than the state exam. I failed that school exam many times. When I say many, three or four times. Mind you, they have thousands of tests. Each test you take is very different. And I was failing by one or two points. And it was the most, I mean, frustrating thing ever, right? So when I took the state exam, I was able to pass it a lot quicker, more efficiently, and uh, it was definitely challenging. Now. If you're wondering, why did I take this test? Why did I wanna become a real estate agent? I, as you know, being a life, wellness, relationship, and branding coach, I love helping people, right? I wanted to add under the umbrella of coaching and facilitating people real estate. Everybody needs a home, everyone wants a home, and at one point they're gonna buy one or maybe three homes in their life, right? To me, there's no better feeling of saying, wow, Jason helped me find my best and favorite home, right? I've worked with a lot of agents, they're hard to work with, and I give it to you straight, and I plan on doing that, and I cannot wait to really work and grow with people, right? We're building relationships. But outside of that, because I am a coach, and I love cultivating relationships, I want to be able to bring people to my team, people that want to really thrive in business, in real estate, where we can grow together, right? Because the bigger you are as a team with efficient people, 
the more money you make. Because sure, people may say, oh my God, Jason found my perfect dream home, right? Or Jason helped me lose 100 pounds. Or Jason helped my business thrive. Jason helped my relationship with my partner get so much better or with people, right? But helping you make money, now that to me is even super more valuable in different ways. Why? Because you can lose weight, you can have awesome relationships, but you also have to survive, right? Uh, my biggest takeaways that I can tell you, if you're looking to get into real estate, make sure that you take and make ample time to study. Sure, it may only be, you know, a few months of studying, but you got to give it all you got. If not, you're going to end up studying for a year or two years, right? There's lots of hours of studying, right? Make sure you dedicate the time and make it work around you. Because just like anything in life, you get as much as you put in. I would love to, ha to have your questions. Write any questions you may have regarding this topic. Um, if maybe this motivated you to actually get your real estate license and let's start a conversation. I'd love to let you know, I would love to let you know what brokerage I'm with uh, here in Arizona and the team that I'm cultivating, creating, and just really connecting with each and one of you. Give this a thumbs up, leave your comments, get inspired, and most importantly, what? Keep it caliente, baby. I'll see you in the next one. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you're a new viewer and don't forget to click on the bell so you can get notifications every time a new show releases. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and feel free to leave your comments. I'm Jason Roselle and you're watching Get Inspired with Jason.